Hello everyone and happy full moon in Aquarius. This is a full moon reading for July 24th is the full moon in Aquarius. Um, I will be posting as usual the elements below in the description box below and I will be reading e off each sign as well. And of course I'm going to do a collective real quick um, wrap up on it as well. Um, these, you know, moons, full moons, new moons are triggers. Okay. So moons trigger things. It's our emotions thing. So it can trigger things. That's what new and full moons usually are. Um, I'm not in my usual location. So the noise is not my fault. <laughs> Uh, so maybe there's going to be distractions, all right? Well, anyway, let's get a little um, collective read here. Okay, so what we're seeing here, the full moon is in Aquarius. Aquarius is the ruler of, what, the 11th house. Um, of course, Aquarius right now is in, well, you know, it's in Sat Saturn's there. Um... I think Jupiter's going back and forth between Pisces and Aquarius. Um, it doesn't look too bad, okay? I mean, for each time when we're looking here at each element, but Aquarius is all about humanitarian needs. It is ruled by Uranus, too. Kind of Saturn as well. Um, so depends on where you have Aquarius in your chart, how it's going to affect you, too. So if we're looking at it astrologically. What I feel here... This is going to be an important time of giving in kindness, not taking, okay? Um, there's also an energy here that all our dreams and visions, we need to put them into practice. We need to really um, see how to find a practical plan in it. There's these money-making ideas, too, that I'm picking up here. Uh, communication is going to be very important. Education. Um, I do feel projects may start. I do see teamwork is dream work. Um, there can be some m money issues or arguments over finances, I'm seeing for some. But this is also divine timing, future financial planning. Um, communications, interviews, talks are really coming through here too. Sometimes dealing with the people around you, neighbors. Um, I am also seeing that there could be a issue with um, perseverance. Um, there is dealing with sometimes uh, there's a sense of envy, jealousy that is an undertone here that I'm feeling. Or we're wanting to make the first move, wanting to do something, but at, at the same time, we have to kind of either be bold and do it ourselves. Um, know that things are coming to a completion. We are very close to some new beginnings. It is a full moon, too, so there are some completions in some areas here that I'm seeing. Um, so, yeah, perseverance, putting your ideas out there before someone steals them from you, too, because I do see envy around, jealousy from others that surround us, too, okay? A lot of ideas coming through, but building that base and... Perseverance. I keep feeling perseverance is very, very important. Okay? All right. So, we are going to start with... Oh, I didn't even say which ones they were. But we're going to start with air, which is um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Then water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then Earth, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And we are now going to start with the element of air. Okay, so what are we seeing here? We're seeing passion, desires, new cycles, um, making some decisions, communications coming through here strongly, your wish, fortune, and luck stone, okay? A little bit of a struggle there. Um, things of value, changes, there's a tower with income, your, your earned income, health and well-being, a lot of that energy, okay? So when we're looking at collective energy here for the air signs, I am seeing... Some of you, children are really going to be important. People from the past, siblings may be important. I am seeing that kind of energy coming through. This is also love. For a lot of you, it's a lot of um, 
people from the past may be showing up to, or this could be triggers and thoughts of them. The energy here is responsibilities that we have. Uh, the responsibilities that you have towards your home, your family, and work. I'm feeling also animals. Um, your pets may be coming into um, focus here for some of you. I do feel also that this is a time of um, delegating your responsibilities as well. I don't know. I'm picking that up. This is also uh, watch the spending because at times here we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. So I am seeing that kind of energy showing up collectively with um, the um, air signs. All right. So Aquarius, this is basically you. Aquarius, you have... The energy of some things are coming to fruition here, but your goals, your desires, um, your passion, your hard work is going to pay off for you, okay? Uh, for some of you, may take a leap of faith. For some of you, may start some new project or you're really thinking of moving. Um, I know that this isn't the, there isn't a stone of home and foundation here, but I do feel that some of you may be feeling a moving, changing um, work, changing your direction and career, um, spending and taking care of yourself. So you may even treat yourself. This is a time to even treat yourself. Maybe you buy something that's going to be, um, I don't know, a luxury item. There is that kind of energy. You're, uh, it's being more self-sufficient. For some of you, you're really, uh, money's going to look pretty good. It's a new cycle. You're ending some kind of cycle there. You're almost there. And this is telling me um, entrepreneur energy, financially being um, independent. You're breaking free of something. There is this new cycle, and this could be something you're desiring and, pas and passionate about. Maybe something that you were thinking about the past. Um, you're going to kind of re revise it, I want to say. Okay. So a lot of your hard work, a lot of that is going to be paying off. If you are, you know, this is a good energy to do house decor, um, remodeling, investing your time there, home businesses. Very nice new cycle for you, okay? Um, Gemini, you're basically right here. Gemini to me, what I'm seeing is communication is very important. You have some kind of luck on your side. Um, after a difficult situation, there is some luck. There is a lot of like people around you, surrounding you. Um, you have to look at the bigger picture. This is good for communication, social media. Um, there's a sense of um, communicating with many different People, a new social circle would be more um, more advised doing things in a different way. It's listening and learning is coming through here too. So look at um, new ways of communicating, new social groups. Um, there is luck. Um, your intuition is going to bring that to you too. Um, definitely there is success after something that's been difficult. I mean, this is a better flow of communication as well. So maybe speaking up. Um, and looking at the bigger picture of things is going to bring you some kind of luck and success. This is excellent if you want to go um, finding a job in a different location, uh, moving. Um, this is good talking to various types of people, networking. I really do see that energy. Even people from the past may help you out somehow or something, um, an idea that someone may be uh, brought up in the past or you did um, communicating that again and the bigger picture is really showing up here so definitely showing up for you Libra Libra you are more here and what we're seeing with Libra is for some of you you may be wanting to change jobs wanting to move wanting to um I don't know, it could be something that you've been wanting in that in a relationship and you're feeling like it's not going to work out. There is a low self-esteem here that I'm seeing. Um, it's almost like there's a karmic tinge to this. Um, it's like you're more in your comfort zone in a way or there's a sense of some karmic issues are coming up. That is what I'm feeling here. 
but you can't let let past mistakes or things like that hold you back, okay? It's time to move forward. There can be changes with health um, and things of value. So there is changes going on there. Um, there will be some kind of financial blessing and even a spiritual blessing. There are some adjustments here. But you um, you can't let things from the past hold you back. you got to keep moving forward because that's going to bring you some kind of luck. Okay? And fortune just takes that push when push comes to shoves, so to speak. Okay? All right, so that wraps up the air signs, and now we're going to move on to the element of water. Okay, so the element of water is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So what are we seeing here? Well, there is some... Um, these are desires and projects, jobs, ventures. There is some... Change of directions is possible here. There is like hurt feelings, um, money, home, foundation, love, listening, learning, love, and a new way of feeling and expressions, compassion. A lot of that energy is showing up. When we're looking at this for um, water signs, there is some kind of interference here. And what is interfering here? Is it past? Is it... Um, Doubts? Is it delays? Is it um, pain from the past? Um, for some of you, there could be some issues with love. This could be um, something is interfering in it. There is some something there. Um, so, yeah, in the past, this is sometimes sadness keeps coming back. So we are seeing that kind of energy and where you've been hurt by, what you've been hurt by. For some of you, it's connected between love and work. Okay, I do see there's an under aligning energy of you're trying to really come into um, either settled at a job, settled at um, a business. So that is showing up and there is financial stability. It just it's there. It's in the base. Um, so we are seeing that energy there uh, for some of you. It's like if you have these ideas with money or what to you know what you want to create. Don't let anybody um, talk you in or out of something, all right? So that's one thing there um, that we're seeing. Pisces, you are basically here. What I feel here, message is going to be important. Somebody may come through, uh, send you a message that's important. Um, these, This is a new idea. Um, what I feel here, there's a focus on... This could be a fire sign energy. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Um, sometimes we're dealing with children here. Um, there, you got to listen to your inner voice and your intuition. What is it that what your calling is? There is a deep energy here. Um, there is a focus on your family, people that you care about, uh, their safety, your safety, the security of it. It's almost like that energy is there. It's, it's like maybe you'll be hearing some kind of news. Um, this is new, um, ideas. This is new, um, ways of thinking is what I want to say. But what I feel for Pisces here is there's a new dynamic with people that you love and people around you. Okay. It's putting an end to some things. There's a new direction, so to speak. And this could be with work and with um, home. Um, these are people that you care about. I feel like cancer energy is coming up strongly for you too. Cancer. Home foundation, love, money, listening, learning. Okay, so seeing that kind of energy there. Um, this is a time to that I feel that a lot of you are going to invest into travel or moving away. You may be actually changing, thinking of traveling or moving to another, um, like state or country. I mean, there's a more of a long distance thing. There is a focus on health, well being, everyday routines. Um, you're really, really kind of putting some emphasis on that as well. You really need to, um, I do see a lot of you maybe meditating and um, contemplating a lot. And messages are going to come to you. But these are messages that you're going to maybe keep to yourself. I do see travel. 
Um, there is a journey I had, I think, that a lot of you, the stress that you had either with work or something with family, you're going to resolve it in a way that you feel is best for you, okay? This is sometimes money and it's like um, shared resources or income. And I feel here that there is, I don't know if this is either need, um, uh, needing to retreat uh, going to um, a, sp a spiritual retreat or just a quick getaway. But I feel there is going to be some kind of travel. Something that has been sad in the past or that's been nagging you the whole time is kind of there. And you're keeping it more to yourself. But I do feel that that's going to be leaving. Um, it's like the rough emotions, um, emotional tides are going to calm down. Okay, so I am seeing that. All right, so it's like you're really, you're following your intuition. Money should be coming through too. So it's a lot of that energy. Scorpio. Scorpio, what we're seeing for you is talking, um, advice, counsel. Um, for some of you, um, this is um, connecting with a soulmate, um, someone who understands you. Maybe you're seeking some kind of answers, okay? Home um, is showing up. Foundation, you know, the... The home dynamics, this could be dealing with a, um, water signs are kind of connected. It's all kind of connected between all water signs. You're kind of all connected here. The answers that you need are going to be coming to you, okay, through some kind of communication. This could be also feeling differently about a person, um, your feelings and um, are changing, okay? It comes with wisdom, too, and taking care of yourself. So, yeah, I am seeing that kind of energy. Um, so maybe you've been concerned about some dynamics with home as well, and there will be, um, or family, the, the answers are going to be coming. Okay. There is a whole like change of heart, um, or a relief somehow is showing up here. Okay. All right. And that wraps up the water signs. We're moving on to the element of fire. Okay, so fire signs, that'll be Aries, <clears throat> excuse me, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So what are we seeing here? Yeah, there's some negative cycles still going on here, a negative person, a negative situation. Epiphanies, paying attention to the signs, epiphanies, or dealing with the spiritual person. Um, lifestyle, I think your health and well-being, some kind of adjustments. It's not the smooth sailing here. There's some worries and concerns Love um, what you really, really feel, not what's on the surface and decisions here. Money, money, and a whole new cycle. Even family showing up here. This is also an epiphany, and this is like maybe a feeling just comes on. So seeing that kind of energy coming through. I want to say there's going to be some sudden big changes, okay? This is either like a breakthrough or sudden quick changes, and this could in include with... Um, an epiphany, epiphany, a resolution to something that's been negative. Um, maybe this has also got to do with health or um, family, money. There is a few um, changes here that is occurring, okay? Um, something is clearing. What doesn't serve you anymore? Whatever it is, there is that sudden change, okay? Um, something just doesn't, not, not everything lasts forever, let's put it that way, Okay. The underlying energy here, I feel, is new financial beginnings, um, new, um, there is a sense of growth, growing, okay? It's like a new journey, and to me, this is something that is going to be put into, it's a notch on your belt for the future, like lesson learned, and this is something that will always stay with you. I don't know, that's what, how I'm picking this up. Aries, for some of you, moodiness. There's some uh, extended negative um, energy here that's been going on. Um, this is a time for you to really um, release something that's been going on for a while, okay? For some of you, it's a simply at this point in time, it's time to either apologize to someone or reconcile, or this could be... Um, moving on from some kind of negative it's like a really negative situation there could be some epiphanies if you're um a dream that could come through that's going to be significant as well so it's something you need to release because there is something negative here um 
know that things are in divine timing as well, okay? So paying attention to the signs, dreams. Um, these could be dreams that you're having, fears that you're dealing with. Whatever it is, you need to release something. So I do see that energy, and that will create a new beginning. You've got a lot of new beginnings here, all fire signs, okay? Definitely new beginnings. It's like almost being released from prison. <laughs> Um, so something that you Aries need to release and to move forward with for some of you may go, be going through some kind of, I want to say hormonal changes or, um, emotional changes as well. Okay. All right. Um, when we're looking at Leo here, Leo, I do see here that, um, adjustments with health, well-being and everyday routine is showing up. And to me, this is also showing a new path is opening up for you, okay? This is like a new way of um, living. You know, there's been some adjustments here. Love, this is something new that's coming in. There is some luck on your side, and this could be with money, love, and work, and also even with your overall health. Even the the changes that's been happening, this this is a new beginning, new job, new way of making money. There is something that maybe that you invest in money will come to fruition too. So luck is definitely on your side, um, Leo. That's one thing I'm seeing here. And this could be love as well. There's support around you. Sagittarius. You definitely have new love, new way of loving a renewal of love really coming through. But it's it's kind of in the reverse here. So what I feel here is you're going to have to make um, the first move with something. You have to have the courage to um, make the first move. If you want um, more money, um, look for that job. If you want to reconcile with someone, make the first move. Um, this is a new way of thinking. It's a new way of... Um, feeling an idea comes or a feeling comes across you so it's just like it's time to move forward this is to me it's like a new path a new love a new beginning with love and this could be with um whatever it is that you need money family um love it's all there so beautiful energy all right um and that wraps up the fire signs now we're moving on to the element of earth Okay, earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we see here for earth? Well, you got a tower. This is a personal tower. There are definitely changes going on here. Compassionate energy, love, communications. Make sure there's no miscommunications or it's a lot of uh, going on and even thoughts. Love, maybe some decisions as well. There is something new, creative projects. Um and making some adjustments and patience. Hard work and perseverance pays off. When I'm looking at this for earth signs, I do feel here that there is a sense of some of you needing to be noticed, needing to be um, first uh, in line, so to speak. Um, I do feel that energy too. There's a lot of opportunities that are coming your way. Some things will be shed to light. There will be some changes with you, how you feel about love, how you feel about communicating, uh, maybe a job or a course or um, a vocation that you're doing. There are some changes, okay? And so I do see that. And I do feel what their challenge is. Does it, do these areas really make you happy? Are you happy with everything about yourself? Are you happy about the love you have around you um, in your love life? Are you happy with um, what you've been learning, doing, communicating? Are you happy with um, your thoughts? Are you happy with your um, new vocation, your job, your projects? Are you happy? Okay, that is a, almost like a challenge here. For some of you, this is happy energy. It's really there. Doing what you love brings the money, brings the people. You know, it's like um, happiness and positivity brings a better aura. Um, Taurus, this is you basically here. Taurus, you have a personal tower, okay? There is big changes going on, okay? For some of you, you may give up on something. It's like you've been hurt, you've been tired, you're done, 
Um, there's almost this energy like you just don't believe anything's going to happen. Um, I do feel that this is like a second chance coming. It's almost like uh, believing in the impossible. It's like, a you know, once in a blue moon opportunity, if you do, and there's a, a chance to redo something. But you're going through a lot, a lot of changes. Okay? A lot of changes. So this is um needing to believe that things can happen. Make those affirmations because you, you're just going through a lot of um, changes here. Okay? It's like almost starting over and a second chance coming through. Virgo. Communications, love, decisions. Um, you're holding on to this energy a little bit too tightly. Okay? Um, it's like maybe there's opportunities to do something new, a new job or um, new investments or something with love. And you're like, no, too comfortable here. I'm, you know, well, there could be circumstances that do occur because this aligns with the tower with you, with love, with um, maybe even you that comes in, whatever it is, where you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone. Okay, it's almost like this is a life path to me showing up and you're going to be um, um, kind of pushed out of your comfort zone. Okay, so try to do things in a different way. It's time to make that choice and decision. And there could be so many communications coming through and you're kind of like holding on to everything because you kind of have, have this fear of change. Um, so definitely seeing that and love and some choices and decisions. Capricorn. This is you here. Capricorn, you're... For some of you, you may have a challenging situation or a debate and you'll have a win. But at the same time, you could be losing something from it. So nobody really wins or gains. Um, this is changes of perspective. It's like constant battle to do something or get something done. Um, this is a time for you to know that just changing some things around, updating things, patience and perseverance... You are so very close to achieving a goal, okay? You just have to be a little bit more patient and keep continuing, okay? Don't give up. You will eliminate <clears throat> distractions. That's the best thing to do. There are some people or situations, whatever, they may be leaving your life. If there are distractions, it's time to eliminate, okay? So changing the perspective, um, that will change the perspective, making some updates, because you are very close to achieving a goal, okay? All right, so that wraps it up for the full moon in Aquarius, July 24th. Um, this is advised to watch during the next two weeks. And, and yeah, I hope everyone has a happy full moon. And bye for now.